Hi, hello, welcome back. In last video, we have discussed maximum number of MCQs from this chapter and we have covered a lot of concepts. In this video, you are going to see just 11 fill in the blanks, which will be so useful and we'll be discussing 11 different topics. And I'll paste link in the description for MCQ video. You can check out that. Let us start. Number one, the subatomic particle not present in a hydrogen atom. We know in every atom there will be three subatomic particles, electrons, protons and neutrons. But while coming to hydrogen, there will be one electron, one proton and zero neutron. No neutron is available. So the subatomic particle which is not present in hydrogen atom is neutron. Number two, an atom of an element has 11 protons, 11 electrons and 12 neutrons. The atomic mass of the atom is. So they are talking regarding one atom. Let us take it as X. It has 11 electron, 11 proton. Here you can mention 11. This 11 will indicate electron count at the same time proton count simply to say this 11 is atomic number. Atomic number is represented with the letter Z. And here mass number. What is mass number? Mass number is combination of proton and neutron. Here they are asking about that mass number. How many number of protons? 11. How many number of neutrons they told? It is 12. 11 plus 12 that is equal to 23. So mass number is 23 units. Number 3. Almost all the mass of an atom is concentrated in a small region of space called if you remember Rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment, he told that atom is completely hollow. Most of the atom is hollow. And after passing alpha ray, one ray, if you observe that passed straight, and if you see another ray which got deviated, another ray which got highly deviated, and a ray which is entering in the middle that got deviated exactly 180 degrees back like that, uh, huge deviations you can observe. By this, he concluded that most of the atom is hollow and only center of the atom is positively charged and total mass is also concentrated that central part is known as nucleus. Nucleus discovered by Rutherford. Number four, cathode rays are a beam of fast moving. If you see cathode ray discharge tube experiment where there will be two terminals, first one negative, this one is positive. If it is connected between high voltage, you can observe from negative terminal, green color light which will emerge and it will pass through positive terminal. This rays known as cathode rays and cathode rays are beam of fast moving electrons. The number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom can be calculated by dash the atomic number, dash its mass number. So the number of neutrons, if you take X here, this is atomic number, this is mass number, and the number of neutrons in mass number, it is a combination of proton and neutron, already you know it. The number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom can be calculated by dash the atomic number. It is subtracting subtracting the atomic number from its mass number. So neutron, if you want to calculate, you need to subtract atomic number from its mass number. Mass number is A, atomic number is Z. A minus Z, if you do, you will get neutron count. According to Maharshi Kannad, the tiniest to two tiny particle of a pure substance known as, he discussed about Anu and Parmanu. So, you can go with Anu. So atoms and particles. Atoms he referred with Anu, Paramanu with particles. An atom is the smallest unit of an element which takes part in. So if you see chemistry, two concepts are too, so important. First one is regarding elements, molecules or something simply to say chemical formula and the second one is chemical equation. These atoms are smallest particles, smallest units, 
of an element which takes part in chemical reactions. So if you want to write any chemical equation, for example, hydrogen, oxygen combining together to form water molecule. So to represent this H2O, individual atoms are important. This is not balanced. You have to balance this one. Regarding that balancing equation also, I will provide a link in description. You can check out that video. In that video, there will be timeline. So you can follow that timeline also to check the required concept. So if you balance this, it will become two here, two H two O two here, two H two O. That is balanced chemical equation. The isotopes of an element do not differ in the number of dash, but do differ in the number of. So what is meant by isotopes? Isotopes means elements of same atoms. For example, hydrogen, 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 or oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Elements of same atom will have same atomic numbers. If you take hydrogen, it is one one one. If you take oxygen, it will be eight eight eight. But there will be difference in its neutron. So mass number there will be difference. One two three. If you observe here, sixteen seventeen eighteen etc. So the isotopes of an element do not differ in the number of in the number of atomic number. Or simply to say, they are say talking about number of atomic number means it is number of electron or proton isn't it here also you can take proton because here electrons neutrons will be differ will be differing because neutrons will differ from one atom to another atom and while coming to electron easily you can remove electron easily you can add electron so here if they ask specifically you can go with do not differ in number of protons but do differ in the number of neutrons neutrons you can go with that last three bits the k shell of any atom cannot have more than dash electrons already in mcqs we have discussed and in concepts also your teacher might have discussed we have differentials like k l m n and to find the number of electrons we have to go with the formula 2n square k means it is first first orbit l means second m third n Fourth orbit. If you see, they are asking about k shell. It is one into one square. That is equal to one into one. Sorry, it is two into one square. It will be two into one. That equals to two electrons. So k shell of any atom cannot have more than two electrons, but it can have less than two electrons. It can accommodate one or it can accommodate two. While coming to L, same. You can go two into two square. That is equal to two into Four equals eight electrons in second orbit, or less than eight electrons in third orbit. Two into three square that is equal to two into three square nine equals eighteen electrons. So what is the meaning of this one? In third orbit, it can accommodate eighteen electrons or less than eighteen electrons. Fourth one, two into four square that equals two into four four sixteen that equals thirty-two electrons. It can accommodate thirty-two. Or less than thirty-two, it can be thirty-one, thirty, nineteen, twelve, six like that. Tenth, dash and dash more or less completely make up the mass of atom. So if you take an atom, atom has a central part called the nucleus, and electrons will be revolving around the nucleus in specified orbits. And if you see this nucleus, nucleus has protons and neutrons. So protons and neutrons collectively called as nucleons. Why? Because protons and neutrons both are present inside the nucleus. So it is known as nucleons. So which will make up mass of the atom here? Dash and dash. Which one? Protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons will combine together to form total mass of the atom. Electrons are Negligible in mass. Number eleven, isotopes are the atoms of dash elements having same atomic number but different mass number. If you see hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen in the previous example of uh, eighth question, hydrogen, 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 oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Here we are taking isotopes are the atoms of same elements. So here we have to take same elements. But in case of iso bars. it will be atoms of different element 
sodium, magnesium, aluminium, like that you have to take it. And it will have different atomic numbers, 11, 12, 13, but mass numbers could be different, maybe 26, 26, 26, or 25, 25, 25, something like that. So those are fill in the blanks in this chapter. And most of the questions we have covered in MCQs. And if you see this MCQ video will be lengthy, something around 42, 45 minutes, because there we have discussed nearly 45 MCQs in detail. So this video will be lengthy. And now you have watched this video, fill in the blank, where we have discussed only 11 fill in the blanks. It is so short. And next video will be uh, still short because there we are going to discuss only seven true or false. So you will get video link of this one. And at the same time, you can get another link regarding the video, how to balance chemical reaction and how to count number of, how to balance chemical equations and how to count number of atoms. And next video, you can get this one. So if you like this video and if you feel this video is informative, we can send, you can share this video to your friends and we'll meet in next video. Till then, bye. Have a nice day.